guys, we are back with another video and in this one we will see how we can bring the inventory into the scene and be able to pick up some items which will be displayed in our inventory. So first things first, one quick uh, bug I want to fix is that sometimes my player won't interact with the things that we set him to do before but sometimes he will interact and this happens because uh, sometimes my interaction is overwritten by my uh, movement of the player and because it uses the same input which is the left click mouse button then sometimes uh, I'm telling him to interact but then it's overwritten by my movement and the player doesn't interact at the end so what I'm going to do is just put this line here and what I'm doing is just essentially waiting for a very short time and then set my character ready to interact so it won't be overwritten by some input events that happen uh, on top of one another so now if I click play you will see that my character always interacts uh, with the things he's supposed to interact uh, so now that we have that done I'm going to bring the inventory into the scene so we already created the inventory and it's under our scenes inventory. So I'm going to put the inventory uh, not here but into the UI here and then change the transform. This is a uh, experiment before and this should do the trick to around here and then put it somewhere here I believe it's good so now if I click play you will see that <laughs> there is an inventory but the camera is a little bit off and that's because it's using the camera from the inventory and just go here in the scene of the inventory and disable the current and save it and then go back to my main scene and now that you see that we have the inventory in the top of the screen and of course it works uh, it works normally but uh, the thing is first of all the offset here of the mouse is a little bit off and this is not a big problem we just go here and in my inventory container script we will just remove this offset that we uh, put uh, experimentally before we don't need that and now if I click play my mouse follow my or rather the object follows my mouse now the other issue is uh, that when i use the inventory the player of the move the, the movement of the player still happens and this is something that i want to avoid i want my player to stand still when i'm using uh gui inputs and it doesn't work because in my handle input in my control i was using the input instead of the event and if i change this to uh check for the event then I actually can get uh, the desired result that I want and now you can see that I can remove my player and also I can interact with my inventory without my GUI input affecting my player movement okay so so let's see now how we can pick up some items so to pick up some items we will need uh, to have another interaction type which will be for picking up items and I'm just going to duplicate, let's see, let's duplicate my, or not duplicate, rather go to my scripts and interactions and in the interactions, create a new script and this is going to be called interaction pickup. Create this, open it and for now I'm going to copy paste all of my code in my template, paste it here. And there are some extra things that I will need. I will definitely going to use the inventory of my scene. This is something that I will pass from my control. And another thing that I definitely will need is um, uh, is actually get the texture uh, of my interaction. So every interaction will have a texture and this texture I will pass it to my inventory so I will need to take the sprite and then get texture 
and of course change this interaction type to pick up and then what I want to do for all my interactions now is change this name to interaction animation from interaction animation player interaction animation because this is the interaction animation that my player will have when interacting with this specific object so I need to change this to all of my uh, all of my interaction scripts and of course in my control here uh, here when I yes so uh, with this done I can go here and now you see that this will be empty because I changed the name and the name of this interaction was if I go to my player was interaction info up and interaction info down so we will just copy paste this this is for the wall here and this is pile of stuff here but this is down so just change this real quick and this is interact simple this is some just some stuff we did before and I'm going to duplicate this random interaction here and break it for example here and then say uh, change the name of it and say it something like the dot icon item whatever and it has a sprite and this is my uh, the Godot, the default Godot icon and now if I change my interaction script here to interaction pickup then I can set also this interact animation to interact simple and this will be right because when my player reaches here this is the position that my player will reach for interacting I won't I want him to face right. Okay, so now let's see what happens in my actual interaction. Uh, so I'm just going here, paste my code, and all I'm doing is, okay, it's just debug print an interaction message, and then go to my inventory and add this item. The item that I'm adding is given here by the texture, and this is a function that it will write right now. And uh, also the back back button for my Backpack, <laughs> I want it to be true because I want my inventory to open up if it's closed. So when I'm picking an item, I want my, open, my inventory to open to display that item. And then give free in order to just destroy the item in the scene because it's picked up. So now I just need to go to my inventory container and create this actual function for adding an item. And I will just copy paste this code here. And all I'm doing is just iterate through all of my slots let's see which of my slots is empty right now so here if i see that my slot is empty that means that it has no texture then i'm putting in the slot the current texture which i pass in from here this is a parameter of my function uh, and i have this function here that put in the slot it just uh, puts the item in my slot the texture and then I activate my slots, this is for the display. So what I'm doing here is activate this current slot in order to be shown as active. And this is for the actual uh, uh, functionality of my slot that it's currently active. Uh, as the as uh, known in my, in my code. And then I set the visibility of my inventory to true because uh, as I said before, I want my inventory to be displayed when I'm picking up an item. Now, uh, one last thing I need to do is just go to my control and create this or rather this new condition for my new type of interaction, which is the pickup interaction. Is this what I wrote before? Yes. Pick up and all I'm doing here is just passing the inventory. So I don't have my inventory yet, but I'm just going to take the inventory from my control so the inventory is uh, node 2d yep. and it's called it's called inventory just like that and then 
like I did with the info card, just take this code, put it here, change this name to inventory. And all I'm saying here is take the interaction object that you just interacted with and see this variable here, the inventory, here, just pass it through so it can use it afterwards however it likes. Now if I hit play, I'm going here and I have a bug. And that bug was because of course I didn't spell the inventory, or not spell, but rather I didn't take the path correctly because I used a canvas layer, which is the parent for all my geo elements and then take the node of my inventory. And now if I click play, you can see I can pick up this item here, the inventory opens up, it displays my item as active, and then I can move it around, and of course, if I change items, then it becomes active. Okay, one last thing real quick, uh, I want my display of my game to be actually full HD, so what I'm going to do is just go to my settings, and under the under display window, I'm going to change the resolution to full HD, this will change some things, so I need to readjust some other things, and uh, in my camera, the zoom that I experimented before will be like that, 1.2, and now that I change this, um, I want my inventory, the size of my inventory to be uh, 0.5, and bring it about here, and see if this works good. So now you see I have a bigger window, which is nice, I think my inventory needs to be a little bit higher. Of course, you can play with these values as well, to see what works for you better, but yeah, I think that's about right. So that's it for this video. Uh, in, the next vi in the next video, which will come real soon, uh, we'll see how we can have um, an inventory, uh, not an inventory, but an object in a scene wh which we will be able to interact with items and with every item that we interact we will have a different interaction item uh, interaction message and if we get and if we give the correct item then we will have a, a, cor a response to that interaction that was correct and the item will disappear from will disappear from our menu which means that we that is it is used and we do not longer have it in our possession.